Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create simple uh, starter activities or do nows. Um, so to do this, you have to go from the dashboard, the main dashboard to the classwork um, page. You'll notice there's no create button here, so you can't actually create anything. So you have to go here and you'll see the create button here. So when you click on that, it gives you a number of different options. Now, the one we're going to use today right now, I mean, is the question tool. So if we click on that, and typically, you just ask a simple question. It could be something that recaps learning from previous lessons. It could be something to gauge their response or knowledge on a topic that you're about to cover. Any number of things. Uh, but I aim to ask a question that will take them typically two or three minutes to answer. So you could type it in. So I've got one ready here already. You could put instructions next to it as well. So um, There we go. So you can put a title um, and then a question itself or go straight to questions. It's really up to you. And then you can decide to do uh, as a multiple choice question. So if it's a question where you want them to choose between three or five answers, it could be a question on a particular word and you have an, uh, three or four definitions and you have, they have to pick the correct one. Um, or it could just be um, a, a yes or no question to see whether they know something already, um, or in this case, a short answer. So I've put a question there, leave that there. You could put the instructions here instead, as it says instructions there. Uh, so I'm just gonna put, just to show you what I mean. Yeah, very simple. You can add um, anything you want. So it could be a picture or some other resource that uh, you want it to accompany this question. Now, I don't actually have anything, but I'm going to click here and you can see what I mean. So it could be a link to a website, a video. It could be a link to a YouTube clip that you think is useful. It could be a file that you already have, maybe an image. Um, I know that in a lot of uh, geography lessons, for example, they may have an image that says, okay, what do you think this picture shows? So it could be something like that. It could be something that you saved in your Google Drive uh, as well. And on this side, before I click on create, which is basically the end uh, bits to form, finalize this and then send it to the students, I just want to show you a couple of things. Now you'll see here, uh, a number of things. So for example, obviously we want all the students to see it. I'm going to click on this. Normally you'll see a list of students, but in this example, because I don't have any students right now, and for GDP's purposes, I'm not going to show any here. So I'm going to keep it as that, but you will see a list of all your students in the class and you can dis, um, um, exclude certain individuals if you think they're not in or whatever um, you may, you know, for whatever reason you may want to take them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Points you can put unmarked or out of 10 points or three points. If it's an exam style question, you might say, I'm going to, some people like to use, uh, such as myself, you know, two mark question, three mark exam style question. So you might put a three mark exam style question and then mark it afterwards and, and just literally say what's marked they got from that. Um, the due date you choose when it needs to be done by. So let's just say it's uh, first thing in the morning um, and you can then put it in. Let me just make sure I've got the right date, 16th, there it is. And you can put the time in. What's useful with this is that I can actually plan beforehand. And if I type in, um, let's just say, I want it done by the first 15 minutes of the lesson, then you know if they've handed it in late, they've taken it too long. Yeah, so if we're saying three minutes, so we're gonna account for, say, three minutes to log on, then another three minutes to this, so within the first seven minutes. So I might say my first lesson starts at 9.40, so 9.45, no, no, yeah, 8.45. So I want it to be done by 9 a.m., so it'll be 9 a.m. So that means they have up till then to answer this question, as simple as that. And then it should just go in. There you go. Now, topic, I don't have anything right now, but you may have different topics. So you might have like, um, you may create topics and show that later on in a different video. A uh, topic uh, could be exam style questions. Um, it could be chapters in a subject. So you could be, um, I don't know, um, in business, for example, I have one just on HR, another one on marketing, another one uh, business location. So different topics um, to categorize each question that you have so that the students and you will know what they are actually answering. And here, students can reply to each other. And I don't want that. I always take that off because I don't want them to talk to each other. Um, and they, and I don't, I, I never leave that on either. So, you know, I want them to give them, give me the answer, one answer, and that's basically it. Uh, one other additional really useful feature here is at the top. 
you can actually, if you let's just say um, it's a, an IT class or a geography class and you know, okay, I've got three separate groups and you want the same question or uh, do now start activity be, to be you know used on all three of them, you can actually select each class here. So it saves you from having to retype all this uh, over and over and over again. Which is massively useful, especially if um, you know you do know that you have to repeat yourself. Uh, but bear in mind, if you do that, it means the timing, the due date, has to be uh, taken off because obviously they don't all have the same lesson at the same time. So you you can't do both. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So you can just do that just to have the convenience and leave that blank and just manage the time yourself when you're in the lesson and say, right, guys, time's up, and have the results on the board. Uh, once that's done. Um, you click on create. Now there's two uh, things, that, uh, well, a few things I want to show here. If you click on ask, it just goes on there. The problem with that is um, at the time of recording this video, it's a Sunday, as you can see from the clock here at the bottom at uh, 2.40 almost in the afternoon. So if I put that in right now, there might be some students, eager beavers who answer the question right now. So before the lesson even starts to come in and they say, right, I've done the do now, I've done the starter, and then they're just twiddling the thumbs. So if you schedule it, it makes it a lot better. It means they can't see it until a particular time. Again, bear this in mind that if you do a schedule, it means you must do it one class at a time. Because, for example, I've got one year 8 IT class on a Monday and then I have two on a Thursday. So I can't schedule all three for Monday. So you'd have to do that individually. You can save it as a draft and use it later or you can just discard it all, all, all together if you change your mind for whatever reason. Okay, So I'm just, just going to put uh, ask for now and then it should save it just put this down here one second there was an error Ooh, let me just double check it's very strange let me just check something here no don't need that okay there you go um, must have been an internet connection uh, but yeah just click on ask and, and there it is now here doesn't look anything fancy but when you go here you can see my first pop-up uh, uh, item that uh, they will see and you can click on the little dots here to edit or copy the link and then paste it on somewhere else um, the good thing although is some of you might say okay but you know what if I do want to keep using this somewhere else well obviously as you said you can't schedule it and so on and so forth well you can come over here and from what I know you can reuse a post so I think let me just check this I've not actually used this feature before so go on here, click the class, there it is. So you can choose that and then reuse and then choose a class that you want to send it to. And of course, you can then choose um, the times and so on and so forth. So you can see here at the moment, I've got the same class. So I don't want the, I don't want the same class to have the same C, uh, do now uh, again. So what I do is choose a different class and uh, there you go. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't let me cross it off here. So not the end of the world I just click on that and then ask uh, but I'm not going to do it right now I'm just going to take that off and once that's been done you can delete the repeated one from here okay it just saves you a lot of time so that's how you create a question that can be used as a starter activity as I do now um, now when you look at it if I click on here, you'll see students' answers will come up here. So you can see the number of people who have handed an answer and the number of people who have been assigned. And the reason why that's important is because obviously if you have 20 students in a class and only 10 have answered, then you can see the 10 missing. And it'll actually tell you who hasn't answered it. So great tool. You can have this on the screen and you can say, right, Tom, why haven't you answered this question? And Julie, why haven't you answered the question? Hurry up. And you can sort of prompt them along. You can also obviously look at this from home if you are teaching from away the, the classroom and see who has and hasn't answered the question. And when you click on here, you can see um, some of their responses will be get, uh, shown as a list. Okay, um, slightly longer um, clip video, uh, but I thought it was a very useful tool to show.